Hi transport nerds and welcome back to Talking Planning. With the current Southeast Queensland lockdown situation, I want to pop back in time to October 2020 and do a quick review of the only Volvo B8 RLE at Surfside Bus 400. Once on board, it's apparent that this is an off-peak 705 service heading towards Pacific Fare. This was probably one of the busiest Gold Coast buses I've caught in a long time, with the notable exception of some 700 services. And judging by the passenger demographic, some retailers must have had some cracking seniors discounts. Thanks to the Gold Coast fare-free off-peak travel for seniors, I was probably the only fare-paying passenger on board. In addition, fare evasion on the Gold Coast is kind of widespread, which only ends up raising fares for everyone else. Maybe Luxembourg's fare-free public transport model, which relies on a higher tax rate, is a more sustainable way of fare-free mobility for the masses. So I actually cut the audio for a few bits of this review as the 330 horsepower Euro 6 Volvo D8K and 6 speed ZF Auto are quite quiet and they can easily be drowned out by people with hearing difficulties raising their voice to talk to each other, of which there were plenty. It's probably also worth mentioning that Surfside has been quite loyal to BusTech's integral products for over a decade until the MAN 19320s came along last year, much to my surprise. Surfside also bought copious numbers of BusTech XDIs with both Cummins and Caterpillar engines, BusTech MDIs, and of course the BusTech CDIs. And of course, prior to this, Surfside also bought plenty of Volvo and Mercedes chassis vehicles with bodies by BusTech. But in the era of the XDI, it was always exciting to see a one off vehicle in the fleet. Now that we are nearing Pacific Fair, I just cross my fingers and hope that that passenger load lightens off a little bit and I can enjoy a bit of peace and quiet as we depart for Broad Beach South Station. Fortunately, the pensioner discounts wooed most passengers off the bus and as we exited Pacific Fair, things were much quieter, so let's have a quick listen now. The front of this bus is very typical of a Surfside bus tech vehicle with their signature seat fabric, silver handrails and the press metal panelling to minimise graffiti. As always, I'm glad to see a seat belt available for wheelchair passengers and a stop bell in a reasonably convenient location. Mind you, that front seat doesn't look too comfortable, so maybe it's a good thing it's roped off for social distancing. I did say this was going to be a quick review and as we pass Dracula's it's time to turn into Broadbeach South Station where this bus service terminates. So thanks for joining me and I will see you again soon.